We're rolling! Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the latest in hobby robotics. My name is Fritz Lüneborg, I am sitting in my workshop in Denmark and on my left I have my friend from the States, uh, Mr. Jack Jax. Where are you from in the States? I'm in San Diego, California. San Diego, California. It's like very late where you are and it's like too early where I'm at. Okay, Jack, before we uh, were about to do this show, we agreed that we should uh, run through a little test that is on uh, the website letsmakerobots.com. The yes. test, the test is um, to see whether you is what we call an arty or a techie. Explanation will follow, but there are two kinds of people building robots, and uh, I'd like to you to do this test uh, with me and run th through the questions. And you out there, you can see yourself whether you're an arty or a techie as well. Arty or techie quiz. Question one: Your robot has to navigate in a park. Do you design it to a? Orient to see how far, what is ahead, somehow generate a map over the area, keep track over obstacles and good paths, drive to next point and so on, or B, focus where you're going to, constantly avoid obstacles, <clears throat> but only if they're in your way. Fritz? Yes? I gotta go with A. Two, the fun about building robots. A, you can have an idea and see it come to life, or B, that you can try to reason math and programming techniques into real life. I'm gonna go with A. Question three. There's a cable that has 3.7 volts coming out of your circuit, and you thought it would have been, <clears throat> excuse me, 5 volts. Would you rather typically A, find out why it's 3.7 volts, or B, say, that was strange, and somehow cope with that? What would you do? I'm gonna go with B. Let's cope with it. You cope with it, yes? Four, you have to make a robot arm that is going to take up all your socks from your drawer. Would your first thought be, A, that's crazy. No. A, <laughs> find out a way to know how many socks are in the drawer so that you know when you've picked all and is able to structure the picking. B, find out a way to see when the drawer is empty and pick socks until empty. B, it's beautiful, simple. You Question five. Yes. You would choose to be an expert in one of the two below. Just somehow get all the knowledge inserted in your brain. What would you choose? A. To know 100% basic pickaxe, basic stamp, basic Arduino C. Because then you can build these almost without thinking. All the commands would be at your hands. If you can think on it, you can just make it. B. 100% assembly, ones and zeros. Because then you would be able to understand it all 100%. Override all the commands, optimize and write your own. Which would be cool. What would you choose? My entry is beautiful. I like B. Oh, you do? Okay. Number six, building robots often happens alone. If you were together in a camp with thousands of other builders, would you rather A, participate in a group that would design something bigger using multiple technologies, or B, participate in a competition where you would be able to enter a robot that you made yourself? Are you social? That's that's B. I like to sit in front of Let's Make Robots while I'm soldering. <laughs> it's easiest to do at home. Okay, next question. Is that the final one? Uh, we got one more. Okay. After making a robot, yes. would you be more happy if other people were impressed or people who knew nothing thought it was cool or fun? I hate to turn you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not judging myself by anyone, but I like when other people mm. like my creations. It's mm. something nice to that. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what do you do then? You you add up all these. Uh, you you got some points, and uh, how do you know whether you're an arty or techie then? Well, add up your points. If you get zero to two points, you're definitely an arty. Yes. Three to four points, you're an all-around roboteer. <laughs> Five to seven points, you are a techie. And the question is, what are you? I think I'm an all-around, well-rounded Renaissance roboteer. Uh, I think you're an arty though, but it's. You're just hiding it. Thanks, Fritz. You're welcome. Now, Garrett, he's got a uh, cool project going, right? It's something to do with fireflies. Yeah. So, this is Megan Forty. She's a firefly. Now she's inside a jar. And she's not sleeping. She's actually waiting for some ultraviolet to wake her up. So I'll come in with the ultraviolet light 
and you'll see her wake up there you go and what she does is she will turn towards the ultraviolet light what did he, he do he, he installed some some electronic fireflies in his garden that they are communicating with each other right yeah they can communicate through ultraviolet detect which one sees the brightest UV signal and turns a servo to point the bug at the other little firefly brilliant thought that was very nifty it is he's doing some cool stuff Gert uh, he always does great stuff thanks for this time yeah sure and thanks very much for uh, doing the show with me not a problem